Hi, today I'm going to talk about headstocks, balutes, and angle, like headstock angle. You can find three types of headstock angles among any guitars that you can find. The first one is the straight one, in which there's no angle basically, so the headstock goes in the same direction, it's pointing the same direction as the neck of the guitar does, so it's just straight line. So those are one. That's that's the type of headstock you will typically typically find in a Fender Stratocaster or Tele. Then you get headstock headstocks with an angle. As you can see, the neck is pointing this way, but the, the headstock is going this way. So that's what's called an angle. Now, in this case, as you can see, there's nothing in here. Which means, what, what is it good, bad about it? Well, they say uh, it's good for sustain. I'm, I'm not saying it is or it is not. I'm just saying what pe most people say. They say it's good for sustain, or it's good for intonation, or it's good to keep your strings without buzzing. Um, but that's, but that's, a, that's basically what it looks like. And now we can find another one that's very similar. It's, it's, it also has an angle, like this one, but this one has a little thing over here. That's the balut. What is it that it does? Well, initially, the first guitars that came out without, with an angle and with no balut, which were, I believe, Gibson Les Pauls, they had a problem. When you sit the guitar like this, on the floor or on the table, the headstock is actually hitting it. So if you drop it, it's gonna hit this part of the guitar, and this is the weakest part of the entire neck, so it's gonna break here. So many Les Pauls and SGs and Gibson guitars break exactly here. So this is something you wanna look at if you're buying a used one. But if you get something like this, this is reinforced. It makes this part much tougher and more resistant to dropping out your guitar, maybe. So that's what they did. It. I don't believe it does anything else than that. It doesn't really increase anything. There's more mass here, so in theory, there should be a tiny touch of extra sustain, which you will probably not be able to notice. So that's the difference between the three of them. So recapping again, we have Guitar, guitars with uh, flat, non-angle headstock, and if you see, if you leave something like this, a guitar like this over a table, the headstock is not even going to be in contact with the table. So if this drops and hits the floor, there's a chance, there's always a chance that it might break, but they are much lower than if you drop something like this which is going to be touching the floor rate. So all the pressure of the impact is going to hit this point and then it's going to break on here if it breaks, if it falls from a distance. So we have flat, angle, and again, the balut. I'm going to get it a little closer so you can see it. That's what it looks like. Alright, I hope that helps. See you next one.